you don't need a degree for this you do not need IELTS yes you can move with your family a lot of people are beginning to use this to move abroad in 2022 2023 is going to continue to be hot so make sure you watch this video till the very end hi welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome my name is linda Aze. i'm a registered nurse and on this channel i share information on how you can study work and thrive abroad so don't be a stranger in this channel subscribe and hit the bell icon so that anytime i come out with a video you'll be able to see it because i believe you or your family members or your friends will benefit from the information i share on this channel so without further ado let's thank you so much for having me i'm so glad to be here hi guys my name is cherry and i have a YouTube channel called Next Step with Cherry, where I share information about Europe. I am a Nigerian immigrant uh, based in Portugal and Sweden. So I share everything about Europe or like free school opportunities, free university opportunities, like uh, job offers, uh, visa pathways, different things that might be helpful in your relocation journey and maybe your study abroad journey or finding jobs in Europe. So I'm so glad that we are going to talk about this vocational school because it's a lot of like it has a lot of information that a lot of people are also looking out for. So if you would really want to get this information, I would suggest you stick to the end of this video and as well share this video with your friends too so that they can also get this information because there are a lot of people out there that are looking for this type of information, but they don't know where to start. So guys, we are going to go into this. So bring out your pen and paper and try to decide on one in 2023. Yes, I'm really super pumped for this particular video because I know that this is an opportunity that a lot of people don't know about. So Cherry, can you tell us why vocational schools is actually a great way to move abroad right now? Okay, so when it comes to Europe, there are like, let's say, four types of uh, university or higher education studies. So one of them is like normal university. And then we have University of Applied Sciences, which is more like uh, science courses. They are majorly like science courses. But in some country, you can even compare the UAS, that the University of Applied Science to vocational school, because they base also in practical. And then we have the polytechnics, which I believe that everyone know what polytechnics is all about. And the fourth one is then vocational school so vocational school is a very important aspect of higher institution because it has like it's more of a practical and practical study at like less theoretical and more practical and in these vocational studies you see like some courses that are not in university you see like plumber welder uh, you see a lot of them like cookie like cooks and uh, chefs and uh, uh, culinary or whatever it's called even healthcare nurses practical nurses but in vocational school so what it means is that you will either be working at, in that practical area and studying. We are going to see places that you can be working in practical areas and studying. So it's more like 60 or 70 percent work and then the 40 or 30 percent study. So it will help you. This is very important if you are looking for like moving to Europe because this vocational school studies will help you to get into job immediately, even before you finish study you as well get like so many job opportunities and the pay is very, very good because like I said, those courses are courses that you might not see in universities. So that means that if universities are, are doing like maybe law and uh, business administration, you are doing those things that are needed every day in like countries or in Europe generally. So that is why it is very important to as well look into vocational school if you can and if you also have the opportunity to. Wow, interesting. Yes, exactly. A lot of courses that you will not see in the university. Even I've seen some schools that offer barbering, um, skincare, so, some of those courses. And it's really interesting because those are the things that people need today. So um, you just said that they are paid very well. For international students, do you feel they are easily absorbed when they go through vocational schools? In Europe. Uh, yes, yes, because when we talk about Europe as well, we are as well talking about the language, right? So this vocational school also opens up opportunity for you to as well learn the language of the place that you are. Because if you are choosing a country in Europe, then you are are also at, coming from Africa or any other part of the world. So far, you would want to go to a particular country in Europe. What you are looking at is 
living there probably permanently. And for you to as well live there and maybe adapt to the lifestyle and everything and get to work easily, you might as well need to learn the language. And these vocational schools offer that opportunity to make sure that, that your life is comfortable. So the only thing about Europe is that once you know the language, the job, op the job opportunities are very, very much open for you. So in as much as some of the courses might be taught in English and some of them might be taught in the language, but even if it is taught in English, I would also advise that you have it in mind that you will need to learn the language for you to get the job faster and for you to like easily adapt into the society that you'll be living in. So I think for international students, of course, you will certainly get a job and you just have to like look at the criteria and also you have to look at the particular course that you are going into through the vocational school if it is of course, most of the courses for vocational school are always the shortage uh, skills that are needed in that country. So yeah. I, I believe that you will certainly get a job with those vocational education. Yeah, that's very true. If you know the language, it will definitely help. But then if you already have admission, even if it is taught in English and you're already studying in that particular country, then it's easy for you to learn the language because you're you're already in the same class with people that live there, you live in the community, you go, go, you go out to buy things and everything. So learning the language will not be like you're learning it in your land in your home country and you are, you don't even have people around that you can practice it with. So definitely it's easier that way. So if you find a school that teaches in English and that is what you prefer the language shouldn't be a problem because it will be easier for you to learn when you're already in that country so and one thing that people are interested in is because if you want to do um, advanced degrees like master's degree in different countries you can travel with your family and a lot of people are beginning to use that is it the same with vocational schools are you able to travel well with family? Uh, this is, uh, it's not about the school, but it's about the country. So it's country dependent. It's just like the same way UK is only for uh, master's students. That is also some country might be for a particular set of students. And then some country might, uh, we are going to see them in details, like the countries that can allow you to move with your family, even with vocational schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is also something that you might need to as well consider if you have families. And uh, I would also suggest that if if it is possible for you to at least go first, if like the country that you want to go for has an open opportunity for you. I mean, instead of losing the opportunity totally and waiting for somewhere else that, I mean, it's also like uh, important for you to consider that you go first and then you try to make a way, pave a way, and then your family can come and live comfortably because you already maybe have a job, you already settled in the lifestyle of the place, which does not even take much time. So that can be something that you consider. So it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of like you need to consider if it is easy to get into that place that allows you, that does not allow you with family or to get into the place that allows you with family and it's not easy for you personally. So you just need to like weigh these two and know the one that you would want to go with. So we are going to see in details countries that will allow you to move with family and the ones that don't allow you and are like really good vocational schools. Mm -hmm. So what are the basic requirements for these schools? Like I believe that they're like, there are common requirements for most of the mm. schools that we are going to be discussing today. What are the requirements? Uh, one good thing about vocational schools is that they don't need you to have, some of them might not even need you to have maybe high school degree, and some of them might need you to have high school degree. Some might not need you to have, almost all might not need you to have like work experience because they know that you want to learn the practical terms of the thing that is just like going for bachelor's degree in computer science. Of course, you don't need to like have the knowledge of computer science and all that, but it might be of advantage if you do have, but it's not necessary so if you have a uh, experience in the field that you want to go that is okay if you don't have that is also perfect and then you need like your high school second like your secondary school uh degree certificates as well if possible your transcript i always advise people that when it comes to those schools that are a little bit competitive it is very important for you to show your academic skills like for you to like tell them uh, like how 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 you do study when you were studying. If it is if it is like uh, how to say it. If it is okay for you to bring your transcript, like your high school uh, high school period transcript. I mean, in Nigeria we call it our SS one, SS two, SS three report card. So if you can find even if it is just SS two, you can just attach it because it will also help them to analyze the kind of person you are academically, not only with your 
uh, West African examination certificate results, but as well during your school period. So if you have or if your child have that, you can as well attach it because it can only be a credit. It cannot be a loss. Mm -hmm. So another thing they will need is also your passport photograph, your passport, sorry, your pass your international passport. While some of them know that maybe you are just 18 years and you don't really have the passport, you can also use your ID card, your national ID, and then you as well need your CV. So on your CV, you make sure you detail either your work experience or your academic experience. And then some of them might as well need you to write motivation letter, which is really important. So this is the place that you have to show your skills. This is the place you have to show the reason why you want to study the course and as well as why you want them to choose you. So this is also like very, very important. Then other people might as well need recommendation letters from your boss or from the school. So if you can get maybe one from school, one from work, that is okay. If you cannot get from work, then you can get from school. So either of the two works. So another thing is then the language requirement. This is country dependent. So it depends on the country. It depends on their language of instruction. So they might as well need that. But that we can as well discuss per country and we'll see how that works. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much for that. Um, can we now share the schools? If you have the list of the schools that are, um, are easy to get, if that is possible, because sometimes these schools are very competitive, especially the free ones. And then, but there are other ones that people are beginning to discover as well. So can we just um, list the schools that are accepting international students, especially? Yeah. Okay, so um, just because I don't have the school of my but I will just tell you the country and I will send you the link and maybe you can just keep on the description for them to check. So the number one on my list is Estonia. Mm -hmm. Estonia has an amazing vocational school and not only one, but at least few of them. And uh, maybe it's my, one of them is free while other might be a little bit cheap. And uh, one thing about Estonia is that Estonia is now becoming, it's a little, it's a little country, but it's now becoming like a really, uh, a really talked about country because of its tech, uh, its advancement in technology. So they have vocational school in logistic and they have also in, in other, other areas, supply chain and logistic and also other area. But this one free vocational school is in supply chain, transportation and logistic, I, I think. So this particular vocational school, I know that one thing or the reason why, why Nigerians might not consider this or other countries is because there is no embassy in Nigeria. But recently I have also discovered that the embassy is in Egypt. So, so far you get your admission, you have free visa to Egypt. So you don't need to process any visa to go to Egypt to apply for your visa. So all you need to do is if it is possible, since you're not paying tuition, if it is possible to make up the money, your flight money, gather all your document for visa and go to Egypt for your uh, admission. A lot of people are going there. And one good thing that people don't really know about Estonia is that they don't have work permits. What they have is resident permit. So if you get, if you get your, long-term resident permit you are the same thing as someone that got the work long-term permit so that means that your student year also counts into your pr so that is one exciting thing about estonia so if you can be able to get your student permit that is also called long-term permit so when you transfer it to work it's just called work long-term residency so they don't really have work permit so that will also help you because you're also going into a practical vocational school a lot of nigerians are choosing even people in turkey cyprus they are choosing uh, estonia as their destination because of the amazing opportunities and it, it also have like low living expenses so you don't really need to worry much about like the expenses that you're going to do and they also speak good english in as much as you know they have their own language so you guys can as well consider that then another on my list of course is the popular Finland. So Finland is also an amazing country. And uh, we know about the Vamia Vocational School that is free. But one thing is that one thing that you should also know is that this Vamia Vocational School, in a year or in a course, they choose maybe maybe 25 to 30 people. And you will see 24,000 people, 30,000 people <laughs> applying to this school. Yeah. So how can you stand out? That remains the question because we don't really know how they grade their, 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 their how they assess their documents. So it is important that you try as much as possible to get all the necessary document that they mentioned. I usually say when it comes to the work documentation or the 
well, there is a particular documentation that, that is needed, I will advise that you try to legalize that document because they know, or they usually say that a lot of people give them fake documents, they forge documents. So they, they probably choose some certain country other than some certain country because they know that those countries probably don't have the high rate of forging documents. So you legalizing your document or notarizing it with the, at the Minister of Foreign Affairs or Minister of Education shows them that this document is legal and probably it can help them to access it very well. I'm also hoping to go to that Vermeer school one day so I can be able to ask them how they, how they, access, how they access their document because it is very important. Then we also need to know that there are a lot of vocational schools in Finland, a lot of them. So even if you're choosing Finland for your bachelor's study or master's study and you're worried maybe your husband does not really have high school, uh, high, even high school degree or university degree, don't worry. If you go to Finland, do not worry because those vocational schools, mostly they choose people <clears throat> They, they choose people that apply in Finland. So if you're already in Finland and you apply, there are, there are other English vocational schools, but they choose people that apply in Finland because the visa process is faster inside Finland. So if you get, even if with your Schengen visa from other country, you can even go there and ask them to know the process. It might be easier because from Schengen to Schengen might be a little bit faster. So you guys can as well consider that your husband might go there for vocational schools and get work easily. Your wife can as well go there for vocational school and get work easily. Then also other vocational schools in Finland are taught in Finnish. So they have a lot of them. They have healthcare related, nurses related. But the problem is that you need to learn Finnish before you apply. So if you know how to speak Finnish, then that is fine. You can apply. But if you don't know, there are also some partner companies that they have that you can apply with. The only thing is that it costs a little bit before you can, you know, for the language processing and every other thing that's attached to it. But it's guaranteed work. They guarantee you job after you finish, even before on your third year, you already have a job at hand. So they guarantee you that. So if you're looking into Finland, maybe you can also search these options that are available in Finland. I'm going to give you some link and probably they can as well, everybody can also access that. Then another vocational school is in Germany. Germany Vocational School remains the best vocational school for me in the whole world because it offers an amazing type of vocational school, which is called company-based vocational school. So recently I sent an application, my application to a particular company in Germany. So uh, they were looking for a receptionist, uh, like student trainee. So I sent, I sent them directly uh, my, I will send you the link of where I found the jobs. So I sent them to the email. I did not apply online. I saw the email and then I sent an email to them attaching my CV. So they got back to me and they asked me, they were like, oh, we are very impressed about your CV. Uh, we really want to work with you, but do you know how to speak German language? That was the question that stopped everything. So I was like, yeah, I don't really know, but I'm willing to learn. But they said they are willing to employ, but the only problem is that the embassy cannot allow you to go without German language. So you will see some, some companies that are willing to employ, but the embassy does not allow because you need to present your language certificate. One good thing is comparing the German language to other language certificates, you will see that it is really worth it to just try because maybe sometimes we will do about opportunities in Germany because there are a lot of opportunities in Germany. So maybe if you don't have the money to go to school, you can consider learning this German language intensively and try these opportunities. So when you get your German language certificate, there is a website that you will go, you will see so many jobs. I'm telling you like 300,000 trainees that are needed. And they have even nurses. If you want to be a trainee nurse, they will be paying you 1,200 euros every month as you study. So it's more like they pay you as you study. And then if you want to go into welder, if you want to go into engineering technology, that, that also can be done. So you can as well try, uh, you guys can as well try that. Then another vocational school, uh, how to apply to that Germany vocational school is first, if you can be able to get your language certificate, then you have to write a motivation letter in German language. You also have to try as much as possible to put your CV in German language and you can apply with that. You just have, just like I mentioned, you go through that link and then any option that you find that is like close to what you want, then you go and send them an email directly. And they will probably, if your CV and everything is impressive, they will probably 
probably respond to you. So another option that we as well have is Australia. So Australia have some vocational schools, but the thing about Australia is that their vocational schools might be quite uh, expensive compared to the vocational schools in Europe. But it's also a gateway for people that want to go to Australia, just like now that Australia is in need of so many skilled workers and, you know, there are like increased critical shortage skills in Australia. So it's also a need. And one good thing about Australia uh, vocational school is that if it is like three years vocational school, you can move with your family. So if it is a longer period vocational school, so you can move with your family but if it's like one year you might not be able to move with your family in germany yes you can move with your family in finland yes you can move with your family in estonia i believe that you can move with your family because you are getting the if it is three years you'll be getting the long-term resident permit so now another uh, vocational school is lithuania lithuania as well have a lot of vocational schools uh the problem is that just few of them might teach you in English, but more of them teaches in Lithuanian language. So that is also maybe you consider the ones that teach in English. Their fee is their fee is not that bad. We have about 1,000, 1,005, 2,005 euro per year. So that is also favorable, consider, like considering going to universities in Europe or something like that. Mm -hmm. So these are the vocational, these are the countries that we have that have like vocational schools that we can be able to consider. So I cannot think of anyone in like any name in particular, but I will send you the link so that you can as well share that and they can benefit from that. Thank you so much. This is really, really good because some people don't want to travel abroad because of the cost, especially. And then this is like an avenue to study in Europe, either free or cheap on a cheaper rate. Like she mentioned that even some countries, you can still travel with your family. So if traveling with your family is one of the main things that you're looking at when you want to travel abroad, you can still use this option. So if yeah, um, it is getting job that you are worried about, then this option is also very good. Then if it means like you want to travel to a country, maybe one of these biggest countries that people want to, to travel to, so and you don't want to go to maybe Estonia or you don't want to go to Lithuania because a lot of people are beginning to hear about those countries now. So Australia is another option. So they still have their vocational school there in Australia, which is still good. And then Germany is also a country that a lot of people are interested in. So in all of this, the main thing is that you need to put in the work, even if it is free school. You still need to exactly. spend because a lot of people get angry. Like there's this school in Finland, I think, a uh, finest future in Finland, the vocational yeah. school as well. And yeah. they have, it is free, but then they have a... They have a language course that they spend, exactly. and then people are angry. How can they be asking us to pay this much for language? But then when you compare it to going for a um, master's yeah, degree in exactly. the UK, I know a lot of people that travel this year with their family to the UK uh, for master's degree and how much they are paying. And exactly. then sometimes, if depending on the course that you got, you are not even sure of getting a job after. Like a lot of them struggle after school to get a job. But these exactly. vocational schools, it's almost like automatic because you have the experience. They don't want to lose you after that course. They don't want you to go home because they've already given their all to you. Yeah. And it's an everyday thing that people need, like uh, makeup, barbing, a welder, pump plumbing, all those, you know. So... This is a, a great opportunity and I, or, at the end of the day, you it's up to you whether it's free or not free. This is a great option in my opinion. And I thank Cherry for being so generous with this information. Even if it is not you, you can share with someone, that young person that is planning to go to school, that just graduated from secondary school, instead of going abroad to do many a job, maybe this is a pathway to study and get a job in Europe and then upgrade from there. So this is actually a great opportunity. So thank you everyone for watching and thank you Cherry for being here with us. And we hope to continue seeing you and I wish you everyone the very best. Okay.